Hey guys, today I wanted to do something a little bit new. I wanted to talk about uh, some, it, it's not exactly philosophy, but maybe talking about kind of uh, RTS and the principles of learning it and playing well and learning and things like that. So what you see next to me here is kind of taken from uh, a Bruce Lee quote, okay? and. Here's, here's the actual full quote. Uh, Before I learned the art, a punch was just a punch and a kick just a kick. After I learned the art, a punch was no longer a punch, a kick no longer a kick. Now that I understand the art, a punch is just a punch and a kick is just a kick. Okay, so this is actually something that uh, I think about a lot and I think it's a good way to kind of check yourself uh, to see where you're at in a learning process for anything. And of course, StarCraft falls under anything and for some of us, everything. Uh, so let's let's talk about this a little bit, right? So a punch is just a punch. This is basically, uh, these, these are the three stages. So stage one is that, stage two, it's not just a punch, stage three. And I'll give some specific examples here uh, to help you walk through this. So a punch is just a punch. Uh, this is a beginner, not that deep, right? Okay. Uh, and then stage two, a punch is not just a punch. Uh, so this is, you are learning the actual mechanics of something. Okay. And then this one would be, uh, well, I don't, I don't know if we should use the term like mastery, but it's something like that. Uh, something I mean, like mastery. Okay, cool. Okay, so these are kind of the stages. So let's let's go a little bit deeper into this because I, I promise this is actually very, very useful and something that I think about a lot, right? I'm going to use uh, factory expansions in Terran versus Protoss as kind of an example uh, to talk about this because I think it's going to make a lot more sense that way. All right, so like let's so Terran versus Protoss in Starcraft Brood War factory expansion okay so what is factory expansion it's like okay uh go fat do a factory expansion factory expansion tvp okay yeah people know basically what that looks like you get some marines and like a bunker and like you're, you're making a you make a factory and then you make a command center but what what is that actually right you have to like do you if i sat you down and and you you know you know what a factory expansion is but can you do something like that uh so let's take a look at what that actually entails okay so nine depot and this is where it's not just a punch anymore right this is it's not a factory expansion is not just a factory expansion there's actually a lot to it nine depot 11 racks this should be before 130 12 gas before 145 and then you want a 13 scout now the 13 scout on a four player map this should be an n scout pattern checking mid between 250 and three minutes uh for zealot okay Cool. So 13 scout. Uh, now at 88 gas, take two off gas. And that's one at a time so that you get up to your gas uh, at the perfect time. And then you're going to go factory, cancel marine if not enough minerals and no probe in base three marines well in fact like the, the more i'm thinking about this because at this point i'm actually in in the stage three but it's like okay well actually we're missing something in here we also need uh the second uh right the second depot so here it would be like this scv makes second depot afterwards okay so uh, so now you're going three Marines, bunker, 
cc. Okay, so this is kind of that next part where it's like, okay, well, this is not just a factory expansion. This is this is a lot of information. This takes a while to learn all this and then get your command center up. And there's all sorts of little pieces within here that you need to actually end up learning, right? But eventually you do this so many times and you just kind of get it down in your head and you know, you know, like, okay, this SCV actually that's returning minerals now, it's going to be the one that comes off, right? Or this is where I like this depot to be placed so that I can micro against sell outs, things like that. So then eventually this becomes number three, right? Where it, for instance, like, I mean, I play, I play, you know, 25 hours plus of, of Starcraft every week. So for me, it's just factory expand TVP. Right, so it turns back into that. Now, this is also somewhere uh, where you can you can get caught up in a lot of ways, right? So, um, let me let me give an example of how you can go back, right? So, for instance, with something like this, it's like you'll know this all very well and get to this point where, and this is with anything, this is, I'm just using this as an example, uh, because I think it's a very easy one to use because it's such a basic build order. Um, and I mean, this is obviously what I do with my time is, is play Starcraft. Uh, but anyways, occasionally you're going to need to, uh, go back and revamp this. Okay. So you shouldn't always keep it in this kind of something like mastery mode. This is like an important aspect of it because optimizations can be made elsewhere in things. Like just because you learn something really well doesn't mean it's always going to be the best thing to do. And to be able to go back and change what you've learned and alter that so that it fits the situation better is very, very important. Uh, and that's actually something that happened exactly with Factor Expand, which is part of the reason why I think that this is a great example for it if we're talking StarCraft, right? Uh, now we have something called a Vulture Expand, which is basically a Factor Expand where you make a Vulture with it before the command center. Uh, this was kind of spurred on because people are getting more aggressive. Uh, you know, trying to mess up these marine bunker expansions. So now with the vulture, you kind of have extra. But I had to go back and kind of rip this apart and be like, okay, how do we fit the vulture in here, right? What gets pushed back? What doesn't? How am I microing? What, what's the timing of all the buildings at this point? Uh, so it's important to be able to go back and kind of undo some of the scaffolding up to this level of mastery that you're, you're going to achieve uh, with an idea like this. Um, also... This is a place I think as well, like it, it's, it's just something helpful to think about, uh, for yourself sometimes, because this is where people can trick themselves as well. The, a lot of people for a lot of things, and there's nothing wrong with this are, you know, at the kind of beginner level where it's like, yeah, I see this and this is the thing right? Like here's factory expansion TVP, or, you know, you see it a lot with people like, like yeah, you, you should have thrown like a fastball or something, you know, whatever. And there, <laughs> it's like, why was he throwing the curveball there? You know, it, it, there's so many examples where uh, they're just saying things that they kind of know, but really, it's not that deep of an understanding. This is where we get can start to get into things like the Dunning Kruger, where it's like you think you're over here, but you're actually here. And the way that we know that is that you can't explain this part, right? So just just a little food for thought there, right? This is a very important part. And this is, like I said, I just kind of wanted to go over this. I think it's a, a, a really elegant way that, that Bruce Lee put this uh, with the different stages of learning because it is it is such an important thing to think about. And it's it's a great way to fix holes in your game when you think about it, right? Like if you, if you look at something, you're like, do I really understand this? Can I, can I tear this apart and write down everything and every single decision in here that actually gets me to this part? Or am I just doing this? Just something to think about. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>